Hello everybody, Kicker Fools here, and welcome to another Magix Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus tutorial with yours truly, Kicker Fools. Hey, do you like the new haircut? Looks like I got in a fight with the lawnmower. <laughs> the lawnmower won. Whew. Hey, you've seen from my other tutorials, I've taught you how to make your movie, I've taught you how to edit it, I've taught you how to export it, I've taught you with keyframe animation, I've taught you screen capture, and all those cool special effects stuff. Well, on this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to take your finished product and make it into a DVD format using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus. Uh, we're going to just hit the basics on this. There's a lot of special editing tools on the DVD maker, and you're going to have to kind of experiment on your own and see what you want to do, but we're going to try to touch on the basics of making your DVD. So, let's get started. Okay, first let's go ahead and open up Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus and create a new project. Let's call it Make Your Own DVD. That sounds original, doesn't it? Okay, click OK. And I like to work off the edit line here. Go ahead and click Edit. And you want to import your movies. And I have them over here with my videos. And I'm going to pick three different movies today to make to DVD. Um, two of them are 4.3. One is 16.9 widescreen. And when you drop it to your timeline, I drop and drag. You can double click if you want. It's going to tell you if there's different resolutions. I'm going to click Do Not Adjust. Okay, there we go. So now all of our movies are going there in the timeline. And this will take a few minutes, not too long, just a few moments for it to get all the information. And there we go, three different videos. Let's go ahead and look at them real quick. This is a 4.3, 4.3, and a 16.9 widescreen. Okay, now come over here to your burn menu up here. And now it's going to come up here with automatic markers. They are none. If you click on this, go ahead and click on it. I'll show this to you here in just a second. Click on the automatic markers. And there's your DVD interface right there to make your DVD. But I want to go back to these uh, markers, these menu markers. Okay. Um, these little blue buttons, you see them right here? Those are your menu markers. So when they come up to your chapter menus, those are the ones who are automatically adjusted per each uh, video you placed. Now you see where I place that timeline? If you want to put your own markers, you can go up there to your edit, and hit markers, and go down where it says set chapter markers. So where you put that needle on your timeline, you can set those markers by hand, especially if you have one big project instead of several different movies. And so go ahead and we're going to hit burn and get ready to burn. And this is what the interface looks like. And uh, this is what your menu control looks like. And you can, you know, you can have no menu, you can have movie menu only, or movie and chapter menus. You can choose what you want to put. And a background image, you can choose from what they have, or you can pick from your own file, whatever you decide. This is what's included in the software. And uh, you can also go ahead and pick a background video. And uh, I'll show you an example here. Let's use one of my own videos I have. If we click on this right here, and that's what they have here in the Magic Software, some video going on there. I'm going to pick from my own video, videos that I have here. And you can pick whatever you want. Maybe you have a little intro video or something you want to use, something showing the background. So if you want to pick that, you can go ahead and do that. You can also uh, use your own sound, your own music. There's all kinds of different stuff here. Maybe you have your own intro for your video that you want to do and open your file. Okay. And then you have here a 16.9 and a 4.3, your menu layout. And if you look over here um, on your menu layout, you have different um, preset menus you can use that they have there. And they got several different types there. Go ahead and look through them and see which one looks, one you want to pick. You also got your composition, what you want to use. And, and uh, you got your controls. And you have your fonts and your layouts. And you're going to have to check these out, and mess around with them, and see which one you, you want to use. You know, a lot of times I like to make my own, but they have some pretty good uh, ones already pre-made for you. And there's the fonts and different things you can mess with. Let's go ahead. I want to work with this one, kind of show you what you can do here. OK, so there's your menu that you're working with. But say you want to edit that and you want to call it something else. 
and there's a preview button I hit there. Let's go to the Arranger here, and I want to change the title on that. You can change it to whatever you want to. You can call your movie whatever you want to, and uh, you can also change the font, and you can do that with, with uh, each one of your uh, chapter markers as well. Okay. Like I said, you're going to have to experiment with this a little bit and uh, and see what all you can do. This is you can get as complex as you want to, or as easy as you want to do it. It's it's a lot of fun. Also over here, see this little button? You can create and label your own CD covers, which is a pretty cool feature that they have on the software. And what's going to happen is going to come up with their own uh, Magic Extreme Print Studio, and it will show you the different type of things you can make for your CD covers and and, and whatnot, and it's a pretty neat little tool. And then it will come up here with your little Photoshop, that you know, Photo Studio, where you'll where you'll edit your photo here. And it should come up here in just a second. Takes it just a few minutes for it to come. There we go. So that's what your cover would look like if you want to make a cover for it. Okay, and that's your burn button. When you're ready to do it, you pick the movie that you want. There's a DVD, there's Blu-ray, There's a, but for this purpose, we're just going to go ahead and use DVD. And all we have to do now is uh, burn. There we go. And this is going to take several minutes. It's going to have to get all the information and everything that you need. And basically, that's all you have to do to make your own DVD using Magic's Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus. Thank you for watching, and this is Kicker Fools, and hey, we'll see you on the tube.